Okay, so uh, now I'm going to show you how to basically kind of, you know, um, import your, your, your audio. So I recorded an audio file, then I'm going to just check my preferences here. Um, I have put my folder somewhere else, so I'm actually going to switch this off. My default replicant folder is in Documents, uh, and you see here is a folder called Audio. So the file that I recorded, I put in here. Uh, Hello. So this, this is what is I'm going to load in now. Um, so make sure that my path is 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 on default. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I need to use this character here, or it can be any character, obviously. Um, but I'm going to have him selected. I'm going to add him to the track. And then I'm going to add a uh, audio file, and I'm going to look where that audio file is. This will now open a menu. I'm going to. I don't need to see all this. I'm going to look at uh, custom, and I called this uh, VO uh, test VO recorded. Um, I'm going to put refresh here this will actually load this into the program and then depending on where my timeline scrubber is this will now be added to this track so here you see that this is now added so if I play it back you'll hear it hello this is a test recording to show you how the okay you know I can turn up the volume well it's probably a bit too loud lip sync works from a user record um, so now all I need to do is right click here edit and then you see you have a lip sync target I need to know how this guy was called you know he's called Ethan Harper I select this you see that this is now active and when I play this back now so oh, this is a test recording to show you how the lip sync works from a so this is now only doing the mouth right so you can either um, if you want to have facial animation on, on top of this you can either uh, record that so you add a facial animation track um, and you can basically use your 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 phone to to record it or if you don't have that you can go to face animations and um, let's say I want something happy I can just take you know you, you see like um, you get a you get a preview here when we kind of hover over this let's say I like to have like something smiley I can drag that on top of this and now this will be mixed with the what this is a test recording to show you if I want him to be sad let's say we take something like this you can see a preview here let's say we like this in pain um, now I'll now it will basically go from happy to sad to show you how the lip sync works and you see that there was a jump in here now right because there was no animation here um, but what you want to do in that case you want to change the expression you can um, move this and slide that in and now you'll get a nice blend to show you sad. how the see? lip and this you can kind of you know you can basically kind of also kind of tweak uh, the, the, the the line here you can you can have make that longer um, yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of options uh, uh, with this um, okay so yeah that was uh, how you do that um, it's pretty simple you just gotta yeah, no, now just to re recoup, um, edit, and this is your lip sync target. And that's all. Uh, thank you.